Reef um, means uh, or stands for research into uh, employment, empowerment, and futures. And why we launched this? Because we saw a lot of different organizations and a lot of different thought talking about um, the use of technology in the economy. And I think it's at a beginning level, some of this thinking about. But what we did not see as much was the actual question of empowerment and the actual question of who's going to get to shape this and the actual question of what is this going to look like organizationally and how we organize ourselves socially. And also, what is this going to mean for things like employment? And so if you look at this at a kind of broader level, I think that there is really kind of three themes to this and that we take things. One, co-creating open futures. How do you create the spaces so that we have an inclusive dialogue and an inclusive set of practices about creating both personal and collective futures that are empowering as opposed to disempowering? I think, secondly, helping people kind of engage with the precarious present. And of course you hear precariousness, but what I mean is like, there's a lot of ways in which people feel uncertainty. And there's a lot of ways within organizations that this is built in. How do you actually create the types of stability so that people see this as an opportunity and not a threat at both a social level, an organizational level, and even a personal level, right? Um, and what are ways in which we can provide people not just to cope with these changes, but actually feel empowered to be part of them? And then, how does this play into what we can call like a lifelong learning agenda? And I, and I think this is where the employment part comes in, because when we look at this, employment is not just a means to get a wage. It's not just a way in which to fulfill one's career. It's also a means to pick up skills. It's also a means to have meaning and have understanding of how one is contributing. It's also a way in which to organize in many ways themselves within these communities. It's a way in which to connect with other people. I do think that we're going through a time when employment, and quite rightfully, I mean, I'm not sure that we should have people working 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week. But then the meaning making element, the vital cultural element, what is that going to mean for the future? How do we create the types of good things that employment can do? The ways in which it can give us a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning, a sense of connection, in a post-employment context. What happens when you say to people, you're not necessarily going to need to know how to fill out a CV in 25 years because of the fact that you're not necessarily going to need to have a permanent job. That sounds really great on one level, but it also then says things, well, then what are ways in which I am going to be able to connect with the community? What are ways in which I am going to say, this is what makes my life interesting? What are ways in which one is going to say to themselves, this is how I feel like I'm making a broader economic and social contribution? Technology, in some cases, has made us users and voyeurs, but not necessarily actors or decision makers, right? So we're very good at watching a YouTube video, which you might be watching me on now. And we're very good at kind of going on Facebook and making comments. But are we necessarily having the same ability to be heard in terms of who our leaders are? What we think leadership should be? What do we think our everyday relationships should be? How we make decisions? How we use our resources? And I think that because of this, this when you have that, when you have voice without power, and you have a society where people feel disempowered in general, you oftentimes have reaction as opposed to responsiveness, a kind of rejection as opposed to an engagement, and a way in which people would rather turn off than, if you will, like plug in. So Reef is really an attempt to say, I think that there are, well, I think a lot of people think that there are serious kind of things that are going to change dramatically in even the next five or 10 years. And it's up to us to actually create a society in which people have more than just voice where people actually have power, and where people have more than just an ability to make a comment or to watch things, but to actually use this technology to make a real change in the ways in which they live their lives and others live their lives.